go change a fan motor on a Moffitt oven. Is that how you pronounce it? Moffitt? Moffitt? Anyway, we're going to change the motor on it. It's bi-directional. Uh, it's going to be cool. on the other side it just lifts up comes off doesn't wear usually this or something so we have this screw right here this blower wheel is very expensive and kind of delicate, so we're going to try to be really careful with it. So we got to pull this nut off. I don't remember if this nut was backwards or forwards. Let me check on the new one and see. Okay, so it's a normal threaded nut. Let's see if we can get it off of there. sit here and pull on this it'll, it's not gonna come off I can I can tighten this down all I want and it's just gonna break things so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a decent amount of pressure on it it's got good and snug and I'm gonna take my torch and heat this hub up when I do that it should just pop off Alright, easy hot 
Let's stop right now. We'll see if we can tighten it a little more. this up again, see if we can get it to pop off. in good shape. So we're going to go ahead and leave it. It just seals it for the heat to come out. So the first time I changed a motor like this, I didn't know about heating it up and popping that fan off. I just could not get it off. I ended up just tearing it to pieces, grinding it, pulling this whole thing out piece by piece. And then uh, After I got done pulling it out, pulled the motor out, it took me a couple of hours just pounding it, grinding it, just trashing the motor, just completely destroying the wheel. Got it out, pulled the new motor out of the box, looked at the directions, and the directions said to heat that up and it'll pop off. And so actually the shaft was still stuck in the fan. It's still stuck in the fan. So I put the polar on the shaft. Because I had, I had uh, ground the shaft off. So all I had left was the wheel, the blower wheel with the shaft stuck in it. And so I uh, put the polar on there. 
heated it up and it popped off. But I had already destroyed the wheel and destroyed the motor, just completely trashed it. So I had to buy a new blower wheel. It was a good lesson. The lesson was to always read the instructions after you're finished to see if you did see if you did it right. And most of the time I did, and that time I did. Okay, so we got all these control wires. I'm gonna plug these in. So I got the black one. Two grays. Two grays. Does it matter which one either of them goes to? Um, I don't want the gray ones. I don't think it matters which one is which. Let's do the yellow. Then change to a regular one, which is fine. Capacitor is capacitor. So we change this one first. The two brown wires go on one side, the two blue wires are on the other side. It doesn't matter which side they go on, as long as they're both going on the same side. Okay, so the customer wanted us to change temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So here's how you do it. You hold this button and this button down together until so we have this. And down here, you want to change, that's the password is 321. We're going to hold this until it goes up to 321. It only takes a couple of seconds, well, a few seconds. So 321, we press this button. Remember? I'm not gonna. I just confirmed. Okay, so we confirmed. Okay, so this tells us what parameter it's in. Right now it's in Fahrenheit. So if we push this button, now it's flashing. Now it's in Celsius. I changed it back to Fahrenheit. So now to confirm, I press this button again. And then to come out of the programming mode, we press D this button it turns back off so now we're permanently back into regular operational mode and we're in Fahrenheit so I'll turn it back on the temperature settings at 302 if you push this in and hold it down our current temperature is 145 I'm gonna turn it off so I haven't put out everything back in here yet Lewis? Yes, sir. How do you think that went? Amazing. Amazing? Once we got it out. Maybe you can sum it up for us. Uh, got in there. Uh, <laughs> the fan wouldn't come off, so we had to just bang it off, I guess. 
This isn't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nate, sum it up for us. Uh, I'm not the pro here. <laughs> got in there, got it done, and we're done. And we're leaving now. All right, so we went in. That blower wheel did not come off willingly. We heated it up like we were supposed to. We were pulling it out and it smashed that. It smashed the threaded part of the shaft. We took the grinder, ground off the part that we smashed. Went for round two, tried to pull it off, heated it up. Still wouldn't come off. So we took some ice, we put it on there, cooled everything down. First I tried to put ice just on the shaft, see if cooling that down would make it smaller and pop off, and it didn't. So I took the ice and I cooled off everything in there and then made my puller really tight and heated it up again and it popped off. And it was a beautiful thing, even though it kind of scared me a little bit. And then everything else was like clockwork. Just pulled it up, put the new one in, went great. Thanks for watching.